Hey friends, family, followers, and subscribers. I'm not your fellow man of letters today, or Winchester brother. I am your fellow Dragon Reborn, Wolf brother, and Trickster Bradford Sheeble here to do an instant reaction video of my reaction to the exciting announcement from Amazon Prime today that the Wheel of Time series is officially dropping this November. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, I am thrilled to finally see one of my favorite series ever coming to screen. And it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be great. However, I do have some hesitations. The poster doesn't look as flashy as some other big tentpole series that have hit the screen in the recent years. No, it doesn't show any of my favorite characters. Yes, it does show Moiraine. Moiraine is fabulous, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look as flashy as I was expecting a poster for such a monumental series as the Wheel of Time would have. However, that doesn't mean I'm not excited. There are reports that the first season is gonna consist between six and eight episodes. That is a good sign, however, I am a little concerned that it won't be enough. That's always a concern from diehard fans like myself in series such as The Wheel of Time. However, it doesn't mean it won't be good. It just means I'm a little hesitant. After the very disastrous ending of Game of Thrones, we all are holding our breath and hoping that the that series in the future are going to be better and will end better than Game of Thrones. Now, as somebody who just rewatched the whole series for the fourth time, don't judge me, I'm not ashamed of that. However, as someone who just rewatched the Game of Thrones series for an X amount of time, um, I do have my reservations because Tentpole fantasy series are known to not really wrap things up very well. However, we have really one good example in the background. Of course, the Infinity Saga, the MCU, and a okay example, Supernatural. However, The Wheel of Time, I've read the whole series. I'm rereading it right now. It sticks the landing. The ending absolutely ties up a lot of loose ends from the entire series and leave some mysteries to be desired in the coming future. So I don't know if Harriet McDougal, Robert Jordan's widow, is going to continue with the story. I don't think she will because the ending has a lot of mystery and that was the way Jordan intended for it to end. But the series does stick the ending. It's one of the most satisfying endings in fantasy way better satisfying than Inherited Cycle, as satisfying as Lord of the Rings, as satisfying as the Infinity Saga, and as satisfying and emotionally devastating as the end of Harry Potter. But all that being said, I hope everyone enjoys, because it's going to be a great show. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but this has been my instant reaction video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna head back to the I'm gonna head back to the two rivers now. So hope you guys have a great one. Peace out.